Android L is still very much a developer preview, but there's one thing power users have been missing more than anything else. I'm Joe Levi with Pocket Now. This is how to root Android L. I've gone ahead and downloaded the latest version of the CF Auto Root package and extracted that to my desktop. Once there you can see we've got a folder that's got a few script files for Linux, Mac, and Windows. I'm going to show you the Windows version here. And we've got some uh, other directories, the image itself and tools. Just a quick peek in there if you wanted to see what's in there. ADB and Fastboot. We'll use Fastboot here in just a minute. And then image is our CF Auto Root with the Hammerhead image. Hammerhead, of course, is the Nexus 5. So I've opened up a command prompt with administrative privileges and navigated to that folder. In fact, I've navigated into the tools folder. The reason for that, I've rebooted my device up into fast boot mode. And the way you do that is power off and power back on, holding down volume down and power at the same time. You guys know how to do that. So there's just a quick refresher. Once you're there, we want to check and make sure all the USB drivers and everything are installed. So we're going to type in fast boot space devices. And here is the serial number of that connection and we are in fact in fast boot mode, so we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and clear my uh, directory and navigate back one. And at this point, really all we should have to do is type in root dash windows, hit enter. It tells us at this point uh, some warnings. So let's go through them really quick. If you have not already OEM unlocked your device, which I have, you are going to have to OEM unlock it for this process to work. That process will wipe everything on your device. It's a clean, clean factory reboot, the whole thing. So this is your chance to abort if you don't want to do that. Now, an item of note, for you to flash the Android L developer preview, you have had to had an unlocked uh, bootloader already. So it was possible for you to relock your bootloader but most of us don't do that at that stage of the game. So you're probably okay, just keep this in mind. It may wipe your device. After we unlock this, uh, CF Auto Root's gonna boot. We should see a big red Android on our device's screen and we should be good to go. So let's press any key to uh, continue. Okay, it, you can see it failed because I'm already unlocked. That's a good thing, don't worry about that. It's downloading the boot image, rebooting to that boot image. There's that big red Android that they talked about, rebooting in 10 seconds after that. Uh, it says that it may take a minute or so for the red Android to appear, but mine was almost immediate, and I'm going to press any key to continue, and that's it. My device is now rebooting. We'll wait for that to come up, and once it does, we'll walk through and see if we've got uh, super user and root access. All right, we're rebooted, and I have downloaded and installed SuperSue. Now again, this is the management utility. This is not an auto router as some people might uh, might assume. That's that's not correct. Open up SuperSue and we're not getting a, a warning message like we did in the past when we did not have the uh, super user binary installed. So everything looks good there. I don't have any apps that require it yet. So let's go ahead and fire one up. Let's go over to our Play Store. I like uh, Clock Sync app. So Let's type that in, clock sync. We will download and install this. Now this is a really cool app, it's pretty basic. It goes out and it gets the, uh, the time from the internet time servers and it updates your clock based on that. And you can set it to whatever time server you want and uh, have it do all kinds of cool stuff. There is a, a root version and a non-root version all inside the same app. So let's see if this works. There's our NTP server, enabling auto synchronizations. We're gonna change that to every three hours just for kicks and giggles. And we'll do that only when the device is awake. This is where we could change it into rootless uh, mode if we needed to. So once we've got all that done, what we want to do is synchronize our clocks. And this should then throw up a uh, a challenge, a root challenge for us, and we'll see if everything's working the way that we want it to. So we'll synchronize. There's our super user request. We will go ahead and grant that. It's been granted super user permission. Time has been synced. We're good to go. We now have root on Android L. That's how you go about rooting your Android L powered device. Now this could change over time because Android L is not firmly locked down yet. 
Also, as my old Uncle Ben used to say, with rooting comes great responsibility, so use it wisely. The last item of note is that Google is continuing to make changes to the way root access works and putting more restrictions on it. To find out more about that, make sure you click on the link in the description down below where we'll have an article that describes some of the changes that you can expect. In the meantime, that's how to go about getting root on your Nexus 5 running Android L. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to do so, so you don't miss out on any of the cool stuff that's coming up. We're also on all your favorite social media networks, so you can tell your friends all about us over there. For Pocket Now, showing off Root, Android L, and lots of other cool stuff, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.